Well, good morning, everyone, on this Saturday. Ooh, Fish Fam Mom here. Um, I actually have been so worn out that I slept in till 9 o'clock this morning. And I can't remember when I slept in. Good morning, dear. You're going to have to tell me your first name, dear. I keep calling you Mad Fish Diva. Hey, Daryl, how you doing this Saturday morning? Mr. Bees, I'm missing everybody. Char, okay, Char like in Charlene or Heather and Cecilia. Oh, it's so good to see everybody this morning. As you see, the live stream is titled Waking Up the Fish Room. And I've never done this before, so I thought, well, maybe you might have fun uh, coming along with me. My timers have been messed up since April. So, uh, and we've had power outages, so a lot of times I just go around the room and click the lights on. They'll go over. And uh, these come on, the 20s come on really good. And then the 55, and you hear a lot of water because I've got low water over here. And I think I'm going to just top off water today. I still have a busy day. I have uh, three rehearsals. I don't have to attend all of them. But come along with me as I wake up the fish room. This is my 10-gallon with my breeding project of my um, mosaic Half Moon Mosaics and my Dumbo Ear Mosaic Dragon Fish that I got from Sheila. And you know I'm going to have to go back and look at the uh, chat. Vinoski's in here. Well, hello Vinoski. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a good day. And this is the 25 that I added. Uh, I'm probably going to have to set the phone down just for a minute and hope I don't mess it up. Okay. Please tell me I'm not going to mess it up. Okay, this is the 25. i got to get down here and turn the light on. There we go. We've got light. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but here is the uh, two of the uh, angels. And this water is really low, so I need to top it off. Now come with me over here. Oh, why is it? I guess it's tight. Sorry about that. Come over here to the uh, better rack. I guess I'm going to come back a little bit so you can see everything. There we go. I'll join the chat again in a minute. I haven't finished it. I did sterilize that five gallon. And this is my uh, crown tail and my king. And then over here is our half moon with some corridors down in the bottom. They wake up really good and hungry. Checking out my corridor, breathing hard. And uh, around the room. Again, the 55. Okay, I hope I'm not taking you all for a long ride, bumpy ride. But uh, this one here is my Half Moon Mosaics and Corridoras. This one over here are my Dragon, no, my Dumbo Ear Mosaic Dragons from Sheila at Life with Pets. And so, uh, don't know what's going on with the angels except maybe... 
Is Victor in the house? Hey, Victor. Well, thank you, Mr. Bees. Um, the angels have eggs on the <laughs> intake. Let's go look at it. Nobody's been fed yet. So, uh, let me see. I don't know if I can. There they are. Well, they're laying eggs, and as you see, there's white ones there, which means they're not fair, uh, sterile. I mean, they're sterile. They're not fertilized. Um, they've been laying eggs and eating them. I added the uh, garami and the paradise fish again to uh, give them some dither fish because they were fighting to... The scales were all up on the female. That's the female on the left right here looking at us. And that's the male pointing away from us. So, let me see if I can find the chat. Cecilia's in here. D down the wormhole. We've got uh, Victor. We've got Mr. B saying looking good. Thank you, Mr. B. And it looks like uh, I missed Chris at Multi Tank Addictions this morning. I uh, overslept if y'all didn't catch it at the beginning of the stream. And um, anyway, good to see y'all this morning. Uh, haven't done water changes in a while. And I think I'm just going to save myself some energy and just do some topping off. Since I see eggs on the intake, I don't want to disturb them too much. Because that, anything that stresses them out, you know, just messes with them. Angels are so sensitive. <laughs> Oh, the scales are still up on the female side. Looks like they've been bouting again. But um, I don't know if it's their age or me interrupting their uh, time together for a couple months to give them some cooling down time. They don't raise them to free swimmers anymore. So this is spawn number 20. I may have miscounted one or two here. If they eat them in a day or two, um, I try to count it even though, um, you know, if they never get to wiggler stage, looks like she's over there fanning them now. But I haven't finished my better rack. <laughs> they, they are guarding their territory. That's good to see. But I haven't finished my, um, whoops, sorry, tripod leg got in the way. And I did get this one down here uh, sterilized because I had like five corridor in it that they just kept coming up with this bacterial fungus and dying on me. Don't know if I can shrink it back in or not. Let me see if I can take it off the uh, tripod. Hang on. All right. There we go. Heather says, wow, 20. Yep, spawn number 20. Angels can be peculiar. Yes, Char. Um, am I saying it right? Is it Char or Char? And um, I've still got three bettas upstairs I'm going to bring down. Oh, Mr. King is resting on the floor. Mr. King, he's pretty. My pastor had these three bettas and these two tanks. And she doesn't have time to care for them. So she asked me to take them. And so I told her I would. And then that's where the vision of this rack came in. And I want to make an, an um, aquaponics uh, self-water changing system not sure 
when it's going to happen or how it's going to happen. As you see, I want you to see uh, my uh, little Corydora seems to be having some problems breathing. She did lose one of her bettas. I mean, her Corys. And he is breathing hard this morning. And then he was just dotting around. So maybe a little water change today for them will help. No, I don't test my waters like I need to. Shame on me. And water that we hear is coming out of the 25. There's uh, four Corydora in here, too, that I raised up from eggs. After looking at uh, Jennifer Saracino's video on how she gathers her eggs with her fingertips and puts them in little tanks with aeration and does her water changes and that's how she has hundreds of Corys now. <laughs> and um, I'm excited about Corys because they're my actual first egg laying fish that actually reproduced without me knowing about it. I saw a little baby crawling around in the substrate and I'm like, what is that? It looks like a baby dinosaur. <laughs> and this is my breeding project. Um, it's a 10 gallon. I do have uh, two or three drops of fry in here. They're small drops. They don't have a lot of coverage. And um, that is my um, DIY filter over there that Michael at Freshwater, uh, Freshwater Fish Freaks made for me it's out of the Starbucks cup. And that is the old fashioned corner uh, filter, which is horrendously filthy needs to be cleaned out. Um, this is the Dumbo Ear Mosaic Dragon male that I'm breeding with Half Moon Mosaic females uh, to produce longer bodies because the dragon males have short stocky bodies which is quite cute but I like the longer body and the longer uh, caudal fins. And I have some guppy grass and some java moss in there and a piece of uh, java fern. And that is Fluval stratus substrate. And um, I did have some shrimp in here, but they all passed away. I want to get a, uh, a nice shrimp tank. I like the blue dreams. And um, I like the uh, cherry reds. So let me see about uh, chat. Cecilia says, do I need to keep mom in the tanks for my quarries? Let me see what she's talking about. I don't remove the mom and dad, even though Corys will eat some of their young, they're not, um, a lot of times the eggs on the glass get eaten mainly by other fish. So, and I only see two or three every month or so. So my tanks really don't get, um, oh, mom, I don't, well, I do clean the substrate every once in a while, like once a month. Mom, I don't think is as important as just dropping vegetables and um, bottom food for them. I put um, algae wafers and I also put uh, shrimp pellets. And I don't mind showing you that it's omega-1 uh, shrimp pellets for freshwater and saltwater fish. And so they get their protein and some vitamins there, crude, I don't know if you can see that, fat, fiber, moisture, ash, uh, mostly their protein and omega antioxidants um, are in this. And then the uh, algae wafers will give them their, their green and vegetable 
uh, phosphates and other minerals that they need. Um, they usually like to spawn after a water change. So, you see these youngins in here being tough to each other. Nobody's been fed yet, so I'll probably have to put my phone back on the tripod. And I'll be right back, guys. If you'll hang in there, we'll see some feeding going on. They had all of their rapache yesterday. Hope I don't mess it up. Okay, y'all can watch those for a few minutes and I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, Susan. How you doing? Um, I'm getting ready to feed my fish room. I just woke it up. So, um, if you come over here with me to the 10 gallon. Doing well. Thanks. Wonderful. I buy my food from um, Everything Aquatic. This is my guppy flake. Two ounces of it was just like three, two or three dollars. And um, she makes her own foods. No preservatives. Um, everything organic and healthy, balanced. And um, sometimes I give my angels some guppy flakes. I do have a cichlid mix. But today, let's just give them guppy flakes. Watch them. They're always hungry. Oh, there's a guppy in here, too. She got it. And she's healing up. She got stressed out from the uh, water changes upstairs to down here. And I'm going to add some uh, shrimp pellets to my little corridors to see if they'll come on out. They are so cute. I need to get some more um, algae wafers from Dina. And I'm going to finish... I need to uh, take the phone off of the mount, so hold on. Because I want to see the chat. I'm not being really good about the chat. Um, Cecilia says, thanks. Uh, you're welcome, dear. Wonderful guppies. Thank you, Dee. Um, I'm, I think I'm caught up. I may have missed, if I missed your question, ask it again, because on the phone, it's, you lose the chat sometimes. So, um, I'm going to back it back out. <laughs> All right, I'm going to feed some more um, guppies. Bye-bye, angels. Okay, over here are my Dumbo Ear Mosaic Dragon Dragon Guppy from Sheila, Life with Pets. And uh, they've reproduced, they have not re reproduced in large numbers. But I did take a few males to my local fish store. I have to call him back to see 
if he liked them or not. And when I did water change last time, the water level, you know, got really high, almost flooded. So fish got caught over here in this basket. And there's one or two fry over there in the basket. My Corydoras uh, also have some bottom feeding. I don't know. It's by uh, Tetra Pro. Cory Wafers, complete diet for catfish and loaches. Two in one food, shrimp enriched. So I'm. I got that. I acquired this with the uh, the bettas. So. Excuse me for rattling paper. It's hard working with one hand in Ziploc bags. that's mama right there she is the one who started having babies for me wow I would say almost three years ago now and over here are my half moon mosaics I took a lot of them to my local fish store hey we got some spawning activity on the bottom of the tank corridors are spawning right there doesn't want to uh, focus, sorry. Okay, let me see what I missed. Uh, let's see. Everybody's still saying hi to each other. Great. There's Henry swimming with the Corydoras. He has helped with the uh, snail population quite a bit. So he really doesn't need much food on the bottom, but I'll drop him a, a wafer in there. This corridor looks like him and Henry got in a fight. He looks like Scarface. And it's possible that he got wedged up underneath of something and had to fight his way out. Okay, over here to the angels. Everybody's going to get guppy flakes today. Sorry. <laughs> he doesn't seem to like it. And then I'm going to feed the other two over here. I have a feeding hole over here to try to keep the, uh, the fighting down. That is really a beautiful garami. And I have some mystery snails in here from Sherry Swinney. I have vowels in here from Kyle's Wild World. I have vowels in here from um, Green Oasis Farms. Uh, I have chain swords and java ferns. And a different sword there but the longest and tallest vows came from green oasis farms i have some plastic plants in here as well okay susie be safe angels watch over
Yes, Cecilia, um, you know, it happens. I'm the one who gave him his first knot. He got caught underneath of a piece of decoration when I was doing a uh, gravel vac like a year ago. But it healed up, and he's my hunchback of Notre Dame. And um, But he's definitely got a lot of uh, scarring going on. And if you run into Henry, you know, and, and scare him, you know, those barbs can come out and cause quite a damage. But, you know, he seems to be fine. He's eating. He's swimming. I don't want to disturb the water chemistry too much. I may top it off. You know, it's a little low. I may top it off or I may not, I wait another week for a water change. Okay, now over to the bettas. Oh, there's a baby right there, you guys. And, of course, this doesn't want to focus when you're live. And uh, I'm probably going to put it back on the tripod to feed the bettas. So, hang in there. Can y'all hear me okay? Oh, how cute. So I guess you did see it, Cecilia. Good. It's so little. Okay, now to feed my bettas. I use uh, betta by a gold. And they also had some uh, rapache the other day. But I think the uh, corridors got it. My, um, you can tell the nutrients are weak in each tank because that plant needs some, um, some more ferts. And I did add some ferts into the water column. And um, this java moss I got from Sherry too, I think. Sherry Sweeney Fish Room. And it has an unusual plant in the back. I'm not sure what it is. So back to the chat. Sorry about that, guys. But I'm going to add two five gallons. Well, one more five gallon down here. And I may put a 10 gallon down here for a sump. So, not quite sure if I'm going to add one of my bettas to a community tank. I really wanted to split these guys up. Oh, I do have more fives upstairs. I have two more fives upstairs. So, I could take him out and put him in here. And then the other five, I can put either Rosebud or Colonel Mustard. And, um, and then another five, I will just leave my, I'll probably add it on top, on top. Um, I'll put a five on top. Now, it'll block the picture. See, if I'm going to do an aquaponics, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. How many bedders do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. I need another rack, guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Or another row. Another row. And then I can raise Priscilla's picture up. But here's our calendar, and I need to change it. Gee golly. Like I said, I've been so busy. Here's July's calendar. We have Payman Shamtube. We have My View. We have HC Aqua. And we also have Kay Walker. And three of those are new to me. But welcome to the Fish Fam and the month of July. Now next weekend, guys, on the 21st, Saturday, Friday or Saturday, Tell me what's uh, better for you guys, Sherry and Sherry. Y'all let me know what's better for y'all to come over. And we're going to set up the 150-gallon uh, pond on the front porch. So uh, in a few minutes, I'm going to add some water, guys, to this tank right here. And I'm just going to get my two-gallon bucket and do that. But uh, didn't see any quarries come out. I think the angels are quite aggressive. There's my little guppy. I did not add any meds at all to this tank. But she got ick all over her. And it's just about gone. So it was one of those experiments that um who is it uh, mike of mass aquatics he says he doesn't medicate his tank if they get sick they get sick if they die they die i don't agree with all of that but i think sometimes we can jump the gun and just start adding chemicals when a good old-fashioned water change Good filtration, good food. A lot of times their immune system can fight off a little bit. Now somebody might tell me, okay, ick is still in there. Okay, if ick is still in the tank, um, I don't think the heater's on. I haven't done a gravel vac since I set this up. I have plenty of snails in there so if it is still in the tank I believe um, that they would have eaten that parasite. Yes Cecilia, salt and heat is good if she wasn't getting better but believe me she was all polka dotted and I thought, oh, Lord, I'm going to lose her. But she has, her body has healed. There's only like one speck left on her body. She's eating. She's swimming. She's pretty much staying at the top. I don't see her go down to the bottom too much. But anyway, she's, I couldn't catch her. Or I actually put her in there with one of the angels and didn't know it by accident. But that's one of my green Moscow females. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Cecilia. I'm catching up. I love that pink guppy. Isn't that guppy just gorgeous? Bless her heart, I use salt and heat, and that's awesome. Thank you, Cecilia. We got six viewing, and I've been live for about 35 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, log off for right now. Thanks, everyone, for joining me this Saturday impromptu live stream. Uh, let me turn the camera around so you can see me. And uh, this, is, this is a stereo that's not hooked up. 
I told Rod I'm thinking about putting the stereo down at the bottom and putting uh, my 29 gallon up there. But uh, then I wouldn't have any tanks upstairs. So that would be fine because if I do my green screen upstairs and have a tank video going behind me, you would never know that, would you? <laughs> But I want to clean my office out. My office needs cleaned out bad. So, uh, thinking about just making this my fish room. And I might keep like a little three-gallon tank on my desk with a, with a betta in it. I just hit the like button. <laughs> Thanks, D. Have a blessed day, everyone. Have a blessed Saturday. Pray for my knee. My knee's giving me trouble. Uh, you know, swelling. A little bit of pain around the kneecap. So I'm trying to get my muscles strengthened. I'm doing my stretches carefully. I'm doing leg lifts, which hurt like crazy. Because up around the top of my thighs... Oh, those muscles are very sore. But I need to get my muscles in tune so that I'm not, so that I can continue to walk. Thank you, Cecilia. And um, I still haven't been to Ed's Pet World for an interview with Seth yet. So that's still on my agenda. I got to call him and find out uh, when is a good time for him but until hopefully Tuesday night if nothing comes up Susan for SLC Aquatics hashtag fish fam mom I love you bye bye